Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about predictive top-down parser. So, to understand the working of predictive top-down parser or to construct the top-down parser, right, we must be familiar with two things first and follow right so in this tutorial we will study about first right what is this first suppose there is a string alpha right this uh, string alpha is of a variable and terminals right and uh, it could be an empty string also right so what will be the first of alpha right then the first of alpha is the set of those terminals with which the strings derivable from alpha start right so first of alpha is the set of those terminals Right. So how we can find first of alpha, right? Suppose alpha is equal to x, y, z, right? Then in this case what happen? First of alpha, it will be equal to first of x, y, z, right? Now see if x is a terminal. Then in this case what happens, first of alpha or first of x, y, z, it will be equal to x if x is terminal. Then in this case what happens, first of alpha will be equal to x, right? But if x is not a terminal, then what happens, right? If x is not a terminal, it means x is a non-terminal or a variable right so what happens in this case if x is a non-terminal right how we will find the first of alpha then here there are two cases right so what are the two cases we need to find out the first of x right so here there are two cases one is that first of x does not contain empty string right another case is first of x contains empty string right so what will happen in first case, right? Uh, if first of x does not contain empty, then what happen? In that case, what will happen? First of alpha will be equal to first of x, right? In first case, what will happen? If first of x doesn't contain empty string, then in that case, first of alpha is equal to first of x, right? Now, what will happen in second case if first of x contains empty string? Then in this case, what happened? First of alpha, right? So in this case what happens first of alpha will be equal to first of x minus a set containing empty string union first of 
Why is that? Right? Now see, if there is a production x drives empty string, then what we will do? We will add empty string to first of x. Right? Now, if uh, there is a production like this, x drives alpha, right? Then, first of alpha is placed in first of x, right? Now, consider this grammar, right? Now, see what I told you that what is first of alpha right where alpha is in this clean of v union t right where v is a set of all non terminals and t is the set of all terminals right so what is this alpha alpha is a string of variables and terminals right and alpha could be a empty string also right so what is first of alpha first of alpha is a set of those terminals with which the string derivable from alpha start right now see this grammar right so in this grammar what will be the first of a start symbol s first of a start symbol s will be the set of uh, all terminals with which the string derivable from s starts right so in this case what will happen see the production rules s drives this s drives this s drives this so what will be the first of s first of s will be the first of a C B union first of C B B right union first of B A right now see what is the first of B right B drives G or B drives this I'm testing so first of B it will be equal to g right a set containing g union set containing this empty string so it will be equal to a set having only two elements g and empty right similarly what is first of c right what is first of c c drives h or uh, this empty string so first of c will be equal to a set containing this element h union set containing this element empty right and it will be equal to a set containing two elements h and empty string right now what is first of a right what is first of a first of a is equal to first of da union first of bc right now what is this uh, first of da right now you can see that this d is a terminal right so what will be the first of da First of DA will be a set containing only one element that is D right because uh, this is small d is terminal now what is first of BC right so here we need to find out first of B right so what is first of B first of B is set containing two elements G and empty right so here you can see that first of uh, B contains empty string right first of b contains empty string so what will be first of uh, uh, this is string bc right it will be first of b minus empty string union 
first of C. Right. So what is the first of B? It is a set containing only two elements G and empty string. Right. Then minus empty and then union first of C. What is the first of C? It is a set containing two elements H and empty. Right. So G empty. Right. From this set we will uh, uh, minus this empty string. Right. So it will be equal to G. Right. Union H empty string. Right. So it will be a set containing G, H and empty. Now see what is the first of A. Right. Here you can see that first of A is first of DA union first of BC. So what is first of DA? It is simply a set containing only one element D. Right. So first of A is D. Right. This set containing D union first of BC. Right. This is first of BC. It means set having three elements G, H and empty. So what is first of A? It is equal to set having these elements G, D, H and empty string. Right. Now what we have to do? We have to find this first of S. Right. So what is first of S? It is the union of first of ACB, first of CBB and first of BA. Right. So first we will find the first of ACB. First of ACB. Right. So here we need to find out the first of A. Right. And here first of A contains empty string. Right. So what will happen? It will be equal to this first of ACB. It will be equal to first of A minus empty string union first of C B right now first of A is this set right so first of A minus empty string it will be what it will be a set having these elements G D and H right and then union first of C B right so what is the first of cb first of cb now see we need to see what is the first of c right first of c is a set containing two elements h and empty string right so what is first of cb it will be first of c minus empty string union first of B right so what is the first of C first of C is a set having these two elements H and empty and first of B is a set having these two elements G and empty string right so first of CB it will be equal to what C for what is first of C it is set having two elements H and empty right then minus empty string then union then what is first of B G and empty string right so it will be equal to now H and empty these are two elements in set and uh, now we have to subtract the empty string so we will have H right union and this set G empty string right so it will be H G empty string right so this is the first of CB and then what will be the first of A C B it will be the first of ACB is the union of these two things, right? Uh, union of this set, G, which is having three elements, GDH, and first of CB. And what is first of CB? First of CB is this set having three elements. So we will take union of this set and this set. So first of ACB, it will be equal to see this set and union of this set right and it will be equal to g d h and empty string right now we have to find the first of c 
सी बी बी राइट सो वॉट इज इट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू सी द वॉट इज द फर्स्ट ऑफ सी राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ सी इज हैविंग दीज टू एलिमेंट्स एच एंड एम टी राइट सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू एच एंड एम टी स्ट्रिंग माइनस एम टी स्ट्रिंग यूनियन फर्स्ट ऑफ बी बी राइट सो फ्रॉम दिस सेट इफ वी सब टैट एम टी स्ट्रिंग देन वी विल हैव ओनली वन एलिमेंट एच एंड देन यूनियन फर्स्ट ऑफ बी बी नाउ सी दिस इज स्मॉल बी इट इज द टर्मिनल राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ बी बी इज a set having only one element that is b right so it will be equal to a set having two elements h and p right now we have to find out first of b a right so for this we need to find the first of b right so what is first of b as we have already found first of b is a set having only these two element g and empty right so since first of b is having the empty string so what will be the first of b a it will be equal to first of b minus empty string union first of a right first of a so what is it it will be equal to what is first of b set having these two elements g and empty string and then minus empty string and then union and what is first of a it is a set having only one element that is a right and it is equal to what it is equal to set having only one element g union set having only one element a right and it will be equal to set g a right so here we have found first of b a right now what is first of s first of s is first of a c b union first of c b b union first of b a right as we have already found the values of first of a c b first of c b b and first of b a right so what is the first of a c b right it is a set having these element g t h and empty string union what is first of c b b it is a set having only two elements h and b and what is the first of b a it is a set having only two elements g and a right and it will be equal to right union of these three sets will be equal to g d h m t b and a right so i think it is clear after this example what is the first and how we can find the first of any string alpha right